Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to do the beautiful puff stitch. Okay, so this tutorial is for beginners. So I'll take you step by step as to how to make your puff stitches with ease. I'll show you how to make the three double crochet puff and the four double crochet puff. Okay, so if this is something you would like to learn, then please keep watching. In this tutorial, I'll be using a 4mm size crochet hook and the yarn corresponding to the size of my hook. You may use whichever crochet hook size is available to you. Just make sure that the yarn you use corresponds to your hook size. Alright, and now here I've just made uh, two simple rows of double crochet stitches. Okay, when I say double crochet, I'm using the US term. In the UK, this will be your treble crochet stitch. Okay, so here into this stitch space right here okay this space above the stitch uh, from the previous row so this one into this stitch space I'll be working my first puff stitch okay so now there are different types of puff stitches uh, depending on how many uh, double crochet stitches you're joining together okay for instance first I'll show you the three double crochet puff so in three double crochet puff um, there will be three incomplete double crochet stitches which we will be doing into that same uh, stitch space to form that puff stitch. <laughs> Make sense? Okay, I'll just show you what I mean by that. So you're going to start um, your puff stitch just how you start your double crochet stitch. Okay, so you're going to yarn over once like so, making one twist of yarn on your hook like this, right, and then you're going to decide where you want to put your puff stitch so for instance I'm going to make my puff stitch into this stitch space right here okay so I'm going to insert my hook into that space like so okay and then I'm going to grab my yarn pull it through all right and then I'm just going to um, gently pull my hook a little up like this just so that all these loops that we've made we've made three loops right so the three loops should be nice and loose okay so the trick here is when you're doing your puff stitches try not to hold your yarn too tight okay so just make sure you're just holding it a little loose than normal and then just um, pull your hook like so so that you've got your three loops okay three loops on your hook nice and loose okay so here is where it is different from doing a normal double crochet stitch okay normally what we would do would be we would yarn over and pull through the first two loops and then yarn over and pull through the last two loops right for a normal double crochet stitch so since we're making a puff stitch we are not going to complete this double crochet stitch rather we're just going to let those loops be as it is so we're just going to put uh, the loops to the side like this to the right side like this okay and then we're going to continue and make our next incomplete double crochet stitch so I said three double crochet puff right so you're going to do this twice more so after you've made your three loops you're just going to let them be okay and then you're going to yarn over again making another twist of yarn on your hook like so all right and then you're going to carefully insert your hook back into that same stitch space we worked into okay so into the same stitch space like so you're going to grab your yarn and pull it through again okay now again make sure you're not holding your yarn too tight and just pull your hook gently up like this okay i'm just gently pulling it up like this so that my loops are nice and loose and or uh, and they are almost of the same same height okay and now we have five loops on our hook right we have our first three and then the two loops that we just made okay now again you're not going to do anything to these loops you're just going to let them be okay you're just going to push them to the side and you're going to do this once more okay so again you're going to yarn over once making one twist of yarn on your hook you're going to insert your hook back into that same stitch space grab your yarn pull it through okay again making sure that you're not holding your yarn too tight and just making sure that your loops are nice and loose like so okay 
and now you've got seven loops on your hook you have one two three four five six and seven right you've got seven loops on your hook so that's basically from the three incomplete double crochet stitches that we did into this stitch space okay now we are going to complete our puff stitch so when you're completing your stitch when you're completing your puff stitch two things to bear in mind is now you need to hold your yarn nice and tight okay so now this end that you're holding you're going to hold it nice and tight okay and then you're going to yarn over like so and then before pulling your hook through all the seven loops that we made okay make sure that your hook your crochet hook is facing down okay is facing down like so okay in doing that the hook doesn't get uh, you know tangled in between the loops and it makes it much more easier to pull through all these seven loops uh, for beginners usually it's difficult to pull through uh, you know many loops at once so this makes it much easier so the two things that you need to notice make sure you're holding your yarn tightly and make sure your crochet hook is facing down like so okay and then you're just going to pull through all the seven loops that's it okay so that is our three double crochet puff stitch right there right so we did three incomplete double crochet stitches into that one particular stitch space and then we made seven loops yarned over and pulled through all the seven loops okay so i'm just going to make another few more um, simple double crochet stitches just to sort of keep my puff stitches separately so that you can identify and we'll try doing the four double crochet puff stitch now okay so the puff stitch is basically what I write what I did just now is the basic puff stitch but depending on the patterns that you're following there'll be different types of puff stitches depending on the number of incomplete double crochet stitches that we are doing okay make sense yeah so um, into this stitch space right here we'll try doing the four double crochet puff so previously we did the three double crochet puff right here right so we're going to do the four double crochet puff stitch here and it's basically the same thing just that we'll be adding another incomplete double crochet stitch before we complete the puff stitch so let's try to do the four double crochet puff so into this space right here this stitch space above this double crochet from the previous row i'm going to be working my next puff stitch so now i'll be working the four double crochet puff okay so this will be slightly uh, bigger than the previous puff stitch that we did okay so let's do the four double crochet puff so for that again you're gonna start as normally you would so you're gonna yarn over once like so making one twist of yarn on your hook like so right and then carefully inserting your hook into that stitch space that you want your puff stitch to be in you're going to grab your yarn pull it through right you've got your three loops on your hook now make sure that while you're making the loops on your hook when doing the puff stitch make sure that you're not holding your yarn too tightly okay because then it makes it much more difficult to pull through all those loops at the end so when you're making your uh, you know when you're doing your incomplete double crochet stitches just make sure that you're not holding the yarn too tightly here okay so making it nice and loose and trying to get the height okay the equal height for all the three loops right so this was my first incomplete double crochet stitch I'm going to stop right here push the loops to the side okay and I'm going to do my next incomplete double crochet so I'm going to yarn over once more insert my hook into the same stitch space that we just worked into grab my yarn pull it through okay again making sure that my loops are nice and loose we've got five loops on our hook now you're going to stop right here do not complete the stitch you're just letting those loops be you're going to yarn over again making another twist of yarn on your hook you're going to insert your hook back into that same space okay remember we are just working into the same stitch space grab your yarn pull through and then again making sure your loops are nice and loose okay 
so we've got now how many loops one two three four five six seven loops on our hook so we've got three incomplete double crochet stitches done now we need to do a four double crochet puff so you're going to do this once more okay you've got this so all you need to do is yarn over once again making another twist of yarn on your hook inserting your hook back into that same stitch space grab your yarn pull it through okay so now we've got two more loops so we have a total of nine loops on our hook okay again making sure that all your loops are of the same height they're kind of nice and loose okay like so and make sure to count your loops as well you should have nine now okay after doing your four incomplete double crochet stitches into that stitch space you should have nine loops on your hook and now we're ready to complete a puff stitch so now is the time you hold your yarn nice and tight okay hold this end nice and tight yarn over once again make sure your crochet hook is facing down like so and then pull through all the nine loops it can be a little fiddly at first so just make sure you wiggle your crochet hook a little and then pull through all the nine loops so that is our puff stitch right there four double crochet puff okay so i'll just quickly show it to you once again so before that i'll just do a few double crochet stitches just to separate my puff stitches so you can see clearly okay so so into this stitch space right here i'll show you once again the four double crochet puff stitch so you're basically going to do um four incomplete double crochet stitches okay so you're not going to be you know pulling through any of those loops that you make till the end okay so into this stitch space we'll work four incomplete double crochet stitches so yarn over once insert your hook into that space grab your yarn pull through three loops on our hook make it nice and loose yarn over once more insert your hook back into that same stitch space grab your yarn pull it through again making sure that our loops are nice and loose we should have five loops now you're going to do this again yarn over once again go into the same stitch space grab your yarn pull it through again making sure that my loops are nice and loose okay we've got seven loops now you're going to do this once more so you're going to yarn over once again insert your hook back into that same stitch space grab your yarn and pull it through okay so now we've got our nine loops on the hook again make sure that they are nice and loose and try to make sure that all the height is the same okay the height of the loops is the same right and now you hold your yarn tightly here yarn over make sure your hook is facing down and just pull through all the nine loops to complete your puff stitch so this is our four double crochet puff stitch right there okay so that's it so i showed you the three uh, double crochet puff and then this is the four double crochet puff so you can also have a five double crochet and six double crochet and it can go on um, you know so just make sure that whatever pattern you follow make sure the number of incomplete stitches are the same and do your puff stitches like so okay so this is the end of this tutorial uh, i hope you could make your puff stitches with ease okay so uh, the basic difference between the puff stitch and the bobble stitch is that in the bobble stitch you do pull through the first two loops um, before making the next incomplete um, double crochet stitch but whereas in the puff stitch you don't pull through any of the loops of the incomplete stitches until the end <laughs> make sense okay so um, I hope uh, this tutorial was easy to follow please give this video a thumbs up if you could and don't forget to subscribe to my channel it's free all you need to do is click on the bottom of this video just click on the red button and you will be updated um, whenever I post a new tutorial so I guess that's it for today and uh, God bless. Have a wonderful day ahead and I'll see you guys in my next tutorial. Bye.